One of the most common questions that I will receive uh, from my rhinoplastic patients is whether or not the approach to correcting the nose would be performed what we call endonasal or external. Some people call it open. The external and, and uh, uh, open are kind of a synonymous term as opposed to the endonasal is where there are no incisions made on the outside of the nose. Now, it's important to understand that performing a rhinoplastic procedure is the actual uh, positioning and repositioning of the particular structures that the rhinoplastic surgeon wants to in order to create the appearance of the nose. The approach does not make the rhinoplasty. So it's important to understand if there is need for certain types of grafts or certain deformities that are there, an external approach making a very, very tiny incision just on what we call the columella, just the little petition right between the nostrils, uh, making that little incision allows the operator to see a great deal more of the areas that need to be corrected and also may give more room in order to insert certain types of grafts. However, not every uh, rhinoplastic procedure uh, does the um, openness have to be there. So approximately, I would say, 20% of most of the rhinoplasties are performed endonasal, and the most common procedures that are performed using the external approach uh, are patients that may have revision rhinoplastic procedures. In that case, where there's a lot of scarring and often more grafts have to be inserted. But I can assure you, the tiny little scar that's made in this little petition at the bottom of the nose, when it heals, is something that very, very few people could see, and if they did, they would have to, it'd have to be pointed out to them very carefully. So keep in mind, the approach is more for the, uh, what has to be done in correcting the nose rather than that creates the uh, procedure.